New jobs numbers out today show gloom on the national stage, but a glimmer of hope for Michigan. 7 Action News reporter Jen Sean spoke with a local expert and shares what this means moving forward. In short, the recent jobless numbers show that Americans are still struggling to get back on their feet during this pandemic, despite previous signs of hope from the Department of Labor. Meanwhile, in Michigan, it's small, but there is something to be optimistic about. New jobless numbers released this morning show around 1.1 million Americans filed for unemployment insurance last week. It's not a good sign. The economists that have been pulled had a consensus estimate that the jobless claims would come in around 900,000. And ultimately, we came in about 200,000 higher than that. And that might not seem like a lot, but that's a city the size of Grand Rapids. Matthew Rowling, the executive director of Wayne State's Office of Business Innovation, says, well, this surprised some industry experts. It's an important sign that everyone should notice. The recovery isn't happening as fast as everyone would like it to. This, while well, Michigan joins the list of states that have applied for additional federal unemployment help, it will come from FEMA. Congress was unable to agree on a second stimulus package. In Michigan, the slow reopening of some businesses offers optimism, albeit small, with around 2,000 fewer workers applying for unemployment help compared to the previous week. That's uh, really upsetting to those families. Uh, but I think we can look into it and find some positives for Michigan's economy. Michigan's unemployment insurance is a little more than $360 a week. Rowling says because of that, for the hundreds of thousands of Michigan families still battling unemployment, getting that federal help will be vital. Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.